So zinc fingers um, are an interesting type of protein. Um, the ones that we use at Sangamo, they exist in nature in the human genome. So there are over 800 different human genes that have zinc finger parts to them um, in the human genome. And they're largely involved in regulating gene expression. So turning genes off, turning genes on. And the zinc finger part, they called it, um, they called them zinc fingers because when they first looked at the structure of these proteins when they were first discovered by Aaron Klug and some other colleagues uh, that started to look at their structure, they noticed there was this repeating sort of structure to the protein. And this is kind of a theme you see in a lot of uh, technology development where in, for DNA recognition, recognition is that a lot of these proteins have repetitive structures. So zinc fingers were repetitive structures and um, they found out that they bound DNA in a sequence specific way. So they could look at this, the sequence of DNA, you know, GTAC, just a string of letters, and these proteins could recognize that DNA sequence in a very specific way. And when they looked at the structure, finally, they solved the 3D structure of the zinc fingers on the DNA. It kind of looked like fingers. So they're kind of wrapped around. So that's why they called them zinc fingers. So they're essentially proteins that nature has used to program and bind certain DNA sequences. And Sangamo's founding with the sort of core conceptual part of Sangamo's founding was that if nature can use these zinc fingers to bind specific DNA sequences, why can't we re-engineer them to bind what genes that we want? And if we can do that, then we can target disease genes and maybe change them and make things better. That's kind of the, the inspiration behind the founding of Sangamo um, on zinc finger technology.